Hello everybody, welcome to Property Management so uh, Database Software Demo. And here is uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Access Database, uh, open source database. So uh, when you get a software, you also get uh, all this uh, uh, source code. Uh, this is the open source application. Let's see. Uh, first of all, uh, these softwares come with different kinds of modules. First of all, when you open up the software, and you will see the property management uh, dashboard in front of you. And these parts is the urgent service need reminder. If you have a, uh, some property need a service, and here's a service uh, appointments reminder. And it's going to remind you today has something which is uh, urgent, important. And here is the property management and leasing and tenants management, company information management, and service and maintenance managers, and reports and analysts. And before everything started, uh, you need to fill out the company information forms, which is uh, click the button over there. And there's a company information data box shows up. Um, basically, you're going to uh, fill out these forms and tell us uh, which company you belong to and the phone numbers and everything. And after that, you need to take care for the employee. Uh, for the employee information, you need to fill out the employee forms. Uh, what's the employee's name and uh, probably under that employee's list. And uh, and here is the company accounting management that shows up um, with this, uh, the spending transactions uh, in and out and things. You know, you don't have to um, update these forms, but uh, every time when you have uh, leasing incomes or you have uh, service payments, you can update it right there and they will automatically update on this form. Okay, let's get into the property management. Click the button on that and there's a list for the property that you have. We can see the first one. Double click that, you will see the first uh, property here. You can see what the look, uh, the property picture outside, and also you can um, attach different inside uh, picture with that. Uh, many pictures over there, um, as much as you need. And other things, uh, there's a Google map where it show you where the property is. Uh, if you get a property address and the first page is very general information for the square feet, lot size, um, bedrooms name, uh, bedroom numbers and everything is here. And here is the leasing records and here is the urgent call service records and leasing payments and tax and mortgage, school and neighbor, insurance information, property owners information and owner contracts. If you help someone to manage their properties and they have to uh, sign a owner contract with you. Okay, that's pretty much for the property information. And here is the property owner's information. If uh, you can help someone to manage their properties, and here's the property owner's information. Here's the owner names and which properties lease on your company. Um, help the and here is the owner contract. And once you get into the income something, you need to update uh, general legends form, which is the accounting forms. And here's the property service charge. Okay. Um, here is the property location um, reference price. Um, location one, there's apartments and uh, how big the apartment is. What is the status as empty or occupied it? And what is the rental rate for that? And here is the uh, leasing and uh, tenancy information management. First of all, let's see the tenants. Uh, currently, you have many tenants at here. So input your tenancy information, uh, leasing information, screen, family members, and move out the days, and leasing payments over there. And from here, uh, you can see, you can generate a couple of uh, rental forms, leasing agreements, uh, leasing applications, um, leasing invoice, payments every time you make a payments you need to, and deposit refund invoice and uh, refund letters. Uh, that's the basic uh, things, the standard things and also you can email it to your uh, tenants if any issues comes out. Uh, it's integrated with the Microsoft Outlook. Okay, um, 
and then uh, here is the rental rate payment management and that's the leasing payments that's the service payments and late payments so really important they're going to remind you if any late payments shows up okay and that's a service invoice okay and then uh, let's get to the service and maintenance management parts service manager if uh, uh, the property you need repairs, need a service, and uh, you can fill out a form over there. And uh, the new service and uh, service appointments, you can just put your service appointments into this database and we will remind you over here when the service report, uh, appointments comes up. And here's uh, service providers information management. Like uh, you have some like a, a vendor who can provide a service, you can list uh, their names there and which property they have repaired for you. Put the records over there, just for reference. All right, and the last parts will be the reports and analysts. And here's the reports and document centers. Pretty much you can see like a, uh, the phone numbers and uh, employees information over there and the invoice and uh, leasing app um, applications, uh, leasing agreements, and all the standards uh, uh, rental documents, and the payment received from each different months, and what is your net income for this uh, property, and we're going to generate a report for that. And the last part will be a property list that you currently have it here. And this is an empty one available for leasing. And here's the one that's already occupied it by some of the tenants. And here's the uh, location and rate charts and move out uh, reminder. Okay, that's pretty much that we have it here. I know that uh, uh, you may interesting to add it up uh, for some new features or modify the forms. Uh, yeah, because uh, this is the open source software. So pretty much you can just uh, go ahead and do that. Just like a, if you don't want uh, the property management uh, lease looks like that, you can always get into the design mode and uh, change all those things and just make the form to fit uh, what your business needs. And after that, you just save it and uh, you will get uh, to update things. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching.